Hey, this is Mike Bloom, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add images and featured images to your posts. Um, so, uh, in one of the last tutorials, I showed you how to create a group, and in another one, I showed you how to update your faculty profile. Adding images works the same in both of these. So, if you notice, uh, the group that I created, this Mike's group, if I'm looking at the, um, the thumbnail versions of each of these, the ones that don't have um, pictures associated with them, the ones that don't have featured images associated with them don't have an image. Um, so you see the History of Science discussion group has got an image and if I go to that post then you'll see the image appears here in the post. So how do I get an image on a post or how do I change an image on a post that doesn't have an image or has a wrong image? So if I go to the post that I would like to add an image to, Mike's group, I'll go right to it. I can click on edit post either up at the top or over here um, next to the leave a comment area. I'll click on edit post up at the top and I can add an image. So first I want to put my cursor wherever I would like the image to appear and in general I suggest putting your cursor to the left of the first paragraph. And now all I do is I click on Add Media. And if the image appears, if it's already in the media library, you can choose it. Or if you need to upload a file, you can do that. So I'm going to click on Upload File. And I'll select a file. And I'm just going to go and grab a random picture. So I've got these sample pictures in the pictures library. and. Sure, let's choose a koala bear. And I'll say open. So that koala opens up. The picture is here. The title uh, appears here. You can give it a caption if you would like. Um, I'm not going to in this case. And now I need to choose the attachment display settings. So for our website, we're generally sticking with an alignment that is right. That means it's going to be right justified to the text. Um, we're choosing a link to none so that if you click on the image, it's not a hot link to anything. And instead of full size, which is going to be gigantic, um, in general, we're choosing medium as the image size. And I'll click insert into post. And now there it is, right justified. And that is automatically going to become the featured image. So if I update that, and I view the post, we'll see that that's the image that appears on the post, but when I go to the list of posts, so I go to faculty collaboration, and if I want to browse all the groups, you'll notice that's also going to be the um, thumbnail. Now, you can change the thumbnail without changing the image that's actually part of the page, and that's also easy to do. I'll go back to my page, my group. And so let's say I like this image here as part of the group, as part of the page, but I wanted a different thumbnail. I can do that as well. So I'll go to Edit Post. And now I'm going to scroll down to Set Featured Image. And I'll go to Set Featured Image. And let's say instead of the koala bear, I wanted something else. So I'm going to upload another file, select. And I'm going to choose the tulips this time. And I'll say open. And once it loads, I'll choose it by clicking on it. And I'll say set featured image. And you'll notice that featured image just appears right here. And I'm going to update it. Now you'll notice that the tulips are not on the actual page. So if I view the post after updating, I'll view post. You see the koala is still there. But now if I browse the groups, the tulips are going to be the thumbnail image. And that's how you add images, and that's how you change thumbnail images. That's all there is to it.